Welcome, Welcome to, to Meet the, the Kilroys. Hi, I'm James, her dad. I'm 42 and I live here with my girlfriend Sylvia and new baby Sophia, her little sister. I'm doing this to spend more time with this little crazy uh. and also learn about science and hopefully teach her too. Also, the whole process of creating and uploading videos to YouTube, we're going to learn together. Hi, I'm Evie and I'm eight. I'm doing this because I want to be famous. Oh, and spend some more time with him. <laughs> Thanks. We subscribed to KiwiCo Tinker Crates. So we're going to do some science experiments. So we can run some fun experiments for you to watch and get involved with. While we are waiting for our next science crate, we will be uploading new videos with our crazy family doing crazy videos. Apparently doing things like going to the Harry Potter studio tour. Ridiculous! We might even add in the occasional fitness video. Mainly because he's not getting any younger. And he thinks he can turn this into a bop. I so am! Blue Lagoon, madam! Don't mind if I do. So, if any of that tickles your fancy, you know what to do. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Ding ding! To stay notified of any new uploads. And without further ado, shall we crack on with our new science crate, Evie? Yeah! Let's get on. Okay, so we're excited, aren't we, Evie? Because we <laughs> we have our first crate from KiwiCo. Make your own spin art machine, and we're going to experiment with centrifugal forces to create beautiful art, Evie. <laughs> right, we've got to open the box first of all. I have my <sighs> goggles on. Safety first. Time to get sciencey. <laughs> Okay, so open it up. Physics fun, so we can learn from this. In this issue, physics fun, spin art tinkering, spinning science, physics magic tricks, physics, straw yeah. fountain, you can make it. Oh, you can make the physics magic tricks as well. Oh, and Tinker cool. Library for makers. Tinker this looks library. amazing. Right, there's, that must be the paint. That looks like a motor and a battery. All the bits and pieces we need. Do not eat. The box, but we'll put the yeah. box to one side at the moment and we'll lay out oh, all the bits and it. pieces. This looks pretty simple because there's uh, not a lot of peak components to it, are there? So, so there's quite clear step by step step instructions, which is good. Gives you on the front here all the included materials so you can check them. Start here. Okay, Evie, are you ready? Visit tinkercrate.com forward slash spin art to watch video instructions oh. if you don't want to read the instructions. If so A, prepare the box. Yeah. Do them carefully so you cover the whole hole. Whole hole. Whole hole. <laughs> cover the whole hole. Crazy. By the way, Evie's called me Dr. Big Nose. And I'm Nurse Nosy. Yeah. Why is it called a donut? Because it's the shape of a sticky jam donut. And then you've left with a donut, you see, it is like a jam donut. Point the notch towards the bottom left corner, so that's the notch, that's what it means by that. So adult help <laughs> yeah. might be needed in some cases. It's dead straight, otherwise I'm guessing our spinny thing will spin to one side. I told you it's hard. <laughs> I think it's going to matter. I think the wooden so. bits are a bit like bigger than the other ones. Come on, Evie! Do I'm it. a nutty professor and I'm, you're doing my nutting!
I don't think it matters what way around. These are very small. Pretty <laughs> That's how you complete a circuit. So the power comes out of the battery into the motor and then back by the black wire into the breadboard board through the resistors and back into the battery. So it'll go the other way. Because okay, the resistors okay. reduce the, make the current correct for the motor to work. I think I've no idea. But I think that's what resistors do. <laughs> Flip the switch on the battery pack to test it out. The wood disc should start to spin. Yay! Right hang on, let's open that. And then Evie, are you gonna flick the switch? I don't wanna put my fingers. Flick the switch! Yeah! Yay! Oh that makes me dizzy. <laughs> so you have built cool. an electrical circuit in a box. Oh, it takes a while to turn off. I'm so excited. You're more excited than me. I'm super excited because you've made this yourself. Is that one pick or can't pick? I don't know because I can't see with these on. <laughs> Does it? With the one hand. Why have you only got one hand? I don't know. Where's your other hand gone? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> Why are you doing things with one hand? Know, right, so the whole point of those red guards is they hold the paper in, so when it spins it's not going to fly out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then you're going to close all this back up again. I Although your paints will wash off most surfaces, it can still be messy. Hmm. Wear an apron or clothes you don't, don't mind getting dirty and put down a mess mat to protect your work surface. Um... So we'll be fine. Prep the paint pens. Mess alert. Handle the pen gently and make sure to cover your workspace. Can I use these ones this time and you could do the paint bit? You want me to paint, prepare the paint? Yeah, because I don't want to end up like getting it all over me because I'm quite messy. Okie dokily! <laughs> what have I got to do? Well, it says to unscrew that um, clockwise and unscrew the black plug from the front. Clockwise, you're right, that's different. So you take the black plug off and I'm guessing you stick one of these on. And then it says um, screw a nozzle onto the pen and then replace the cap. Oh, yeah, so screw on hands clockwise. Uh, counterclockwise. Say, yeah, and say. then it says tip, don't screw the pen to does the paint all come out? Green is done. Repeat for all the pens. Shake each pen to mix the paint. Then you're good to go. Where are you, Evie? The camera's there. And there's I another one. The we really have production here. This is, this is a serious production going on here. This is the monitor. Oh, down there. Don't knock any of the cameras. You can have to edit this bit. Adjust the speed of how fast it spins as well. How? By moving things on the breadboard. Oh. That's super exciting. Well, that actually... Ah, so that's the thing. So you're using three resistors, which reduces the flow of electricity, I think, from the battery when you're in line one, but if you go in line two, line three, it's only going through two resistors. And if you go in line seven, you're going through one resistor. You go, right, go for it, Evie, turn the machine on. The machine is on. The paper is spinning. I don't know why the sun's scared. Evie is going to add Drop it from behind. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. That's so close. Let it drop from way up high.
I add them into this container. Right, come on. I want to see what it looks like. I'm too excited. That makes it look pretty. Turn it off. I want to see what it looks like. What did you think of this whole crate idea, Evie? Good. The best part would probably be actually the dinner table. Like, so, but did you enjoy the process of making something? Yeah, it's cool how you could see like how um, it worked. So centrifugal force, the riders on the super spinner swings and the paint on your spin art machine are both flung outwards away from the centre of the rotation. This is called centrifugal force. So when you drop something in, because it's spinning, it makes it fly out. Does that make sense? And that's the force, that's the physical like, force. I thought it would make it into like a circle. And it's yeah. basically, so it's take a look at the paint you've made and it will talk to you about the science behind it. So we'll look at that in a bit. So you're gonna, Evie's gonna learn and that's the most important thing I think. So are you doing science at school yet? What sort of science experiments have you done? Well, at right now in, um, we're doing like um, um, light and shadow. Light and shadow, it's cool. But you haven't done anything like this yet, have you? Um, Physics type stuff. Well, we've done something about like magnetic forces. Oh, okay, so you have. But this is cool because it's extra curricular summer holiday science project. So, Evie, overall, what do you think? I thought this was really cool and I'm going to tell my friends all about it when I go back to school. Oh really? Yeah. And are you going to play with it some more? Are you going to try out some yeah. new designs? And what about this physics book? Are we going to read, or science book? Are we going to read all of this today? Maybe the rest of the week? And there's some other experiments we can do. Are you looking forward to doing those? Yeah. And would you recommend people to sign up to this kind of thing? Yeah. Why? What's Please. different to just buying one that's already made. Because you get to see how it all works and, and it's cool how it, it has the book so you can learn more about it than just buying one. Perfect and that's the whole point everybody. You get to unpack it, put it all together and then have some fun with it and learn about science. So I'm bought into it, I think it's good. We also spent some time together doing it didn't we? So it's a good time for us. I'm guilty as a parent of like buying Lego and things like that and just giving it to Evie and then you get on doing something else while they're building their Lego or whatever. But I got into this more and we spent time together, didn't we? And we're now going to edit the video as well together. So, win-win. Yeah. You're going to get fed up with me. No. <laughs> um, in the link below, ah! in the link below, I'll put a link to KiwiCo ah, really? if you want to have a look for yourself. They've got loads of videos as well. And I think I've got um, a referral code, so you might get a discount if you want to sign up for one of these as well. Oh.